Contestant better for... Alright, boys, this should be the last one. This should be the last one. If it's not this one, I'm going to throw up and cry. Hello everyone, I'm Platinum's White and welcome to a brand new episode in a Platinum in Review. This is a series where we break down the most recent Platinum we've earned, offer any tips or tricks on how we earned the Platinum or any of the trophies or and gameplay itself, and then finally review the game giving it either a Platinum, a Silver, Gold or Bronze trophy. This episode will be on Saints Row 4 Re-Elected. This is a re-release of the 2013 Saints Row 4 with better graphics, higher frame rates and including all the DLC that came out. I'm actually super excited to review this because I actually really did enjoy my time with this game. It's a stupid fun game, I highly recommend it. We did this review live over at twitch.tv slash platinumsy, so if you ever want to catch the games or the platinum being owned live, these reviews being made live, or you just want to come and say hi and have a chat, please do. I'll put the link to the Twitch and our Discord in the description below. I'm also thinking about bringing these streams over to YouTube as well, so multi-streaming on both. If that's something you're interested in, please do let me know. If the demand is there, we will do it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening to this intro. Let's get into it. All right, let's just fucking get into it, eh? Let's just get into it. Most of these trophies are actually a lot of story. These first part, Zero Saints, Destroying Tree, if that's story, 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 story story sorry so how many trophies is that 13 of these are story so 13 of them you don't even really need to really look at saints and sensibility uh that was a trophy for completing grand final to completing all homing missions you pretty much just do the story after you've 100 percented everything on the map and that's what that, that's what we did on stream complete all open world gameplays in two districts and complete all open world gameplay in the entire simulator still port again this is just for hitting 100 percent half my home that's for hitting 50 percent completion how it should be is 100%. Um, now we've got loyalty missions. So this is when, this is also included in the open world districts. The loyalty missions, all the Kinsey loyalty missions, everything. This is involved with the NPCs will give you missions that you have to complete in game. So they'll be like, hey, go hack this store, go do this. If you're doing everything in the game anyways, 100%. So this sort of links in with Saints and Sensibility. Just make sure you do everything in game before you're completing the grand finale. So that means you have to go do everything they tell you to do. Sometimes I have a quest, so Matt Miller will have a, like a loyalty quest in game that you have to go do it. But I'm pretty sure they have all of that. I'm pretty sure every single one of them has their own quest. Or you just have to sleep over every single one of them. You need to have sex over every single one. And I ran Super Sprint for 250 thousand meters you'll get that while we're playing we got i got that around three quarters of the way through doing this on stream don't look down but you're born doing super jumps for a combined 10 minutes of gameplay i got this maybe it felt like maybe four or five hours into this game you'll get this very easy you don't need to be on the lookout for this chill out freeze and shadow 100 alien enemies you'll get this again very easy freeze is very op uh pounding the pavement this was actually the very last trophy i got uh, mostly because the pound ability isn't actually that great um, it's only good when you're shattering enemies, when you've frozen them. So I just left this at the very last. This is the very last trophy I got because you can control this very easy. Catch a hundred, um, kill a hundred aliens with telekinesis. Again, pick someone up, throw them. Very easy to do. Uh, kill aliens with using firepower. The buff is one of the last superpowers you'll get, but you'll get this super, super quick. I think I got this maybe 10 minutes after actually completing, like getting the buff. Kill 100 aliens with death from, super, uh, death from above. Again, that's one of the last ones you'll get, including the fire buff. You'll get that very easy. As long as you freeze them and then throw them. I grind this out in the very last missions when doing this, so I didn't even have to do this outside of missions. Uh, kill 25 aliens each. Dubstep, inflator, ray, bounce. So that's the special weapons you'll get. In the top left hand of the radio manual, you'll get like a weapon you can use. Or is it the bottom left? It's either or. Again, very easy. You don't need to go out of your way to get these. You'll just get these. Um, upgrade one, one weapon to the max. Again, you just got to have money. I think you've got to have about 100k to do that. But by the end of the game, you're going to be like having millions and millions. It's going to be fine. Purchase all superpower upgrades. You'll get that by 100% of the game anyways. You may not get it on the first time because you may not know this is possible, but you'll get it. Find the present in the holiday mission. There's a just a little collectible you need to pick up. It's not on the map or anything, but you'll see it glowing. Again, I had to go back and do a mission replay. Thank God the DLC has mission replay, otherwise you would be very mad and upset. Uh, final letters to Santa. 
this is very similar to like the audio logs and stuff like that they're on the map very easy to see same as the world without christmas you'll find all these you'll go back to the computer in the in the what is it in the ship you do this it's like a little text adventure it takes two minutes to do probably all instances of genki holiday um you this is available in the base game so as long as you have the dlc installed you this will just be in the open world activity for you to do this takes again two or three minutes to do but that's it that's all the trophies what do you think of the story the story in saints row 4 is fine with how the game's set up i think the story works fine i think it's a better story than three i think three story was very rushed in what they did especially the end i felt like the story in this was much better obviously they went balls to the wall with the alien shit and the simulation stuff like that but i genuinely think this is a better story per se would you make any change to the trophy list as you could i think having um i think having a co-op trophy in this would be a fine addition to the game like playing like maybe having play with your friend or something like that um i think the trophy list is fine i think this is a good mix of what it is especially the dlc trophies that we'll get into soon i think that's a i think it's a good i wouldn't change anything about the list i think it's fine there's only one trophy you'll get rid of and that's like playing the game over like 40 hours because you complete the game in 15 you know what i mean uh did this game remind you of a similar game to a, a platinum excluding any other saints row games this game remind me of anything i don't think so this is such a unique game all this did was make me think about the time i played this with my friend when i still like lived in my hometown when i played this for the first time this didn't remind me of is it worth the full price or wait for the sale it depends Sherbert. it depends because this game full sale like sale price is like eight bucks like let's look at the store let's see if the the standalone game for this game re-elected is 25 bucks so i bought this on release back in the day so it's hard to say i love this game i don't think it's worth 25 bucks not in this day and age for a game that's came out this long ago i don't think it's worth it i think 25 bucks like maybe four years ago i think that's fair but not now i think wait for a sale pick this up but again we'll go into that into the review about how much it's worth at the end is this your platinum is this your favorite platinum to do in the series well three and four are the only ones that have platinum trophies um if you count the ps3 and ps4 versions there is also get out of hell that has a trophy but uh has a platinum trophy but this is my favorite i think this is the best if you're going to do a saints Row game do this one this one's fun very easy what do you think of the superpowers addition to the series i loved it again i respect this game a lot more than three i felt like what they did with four compared to three is they embraced the silliness of what they've done but they completely changed the formula but they said all right we're changing the formula but we're not going to half-ass it we're going to put in as much effort as we can into this game to make it as good as it, as it is and i think it worked out for them this is not a good saints row game but this is a great game this is a fun game to fuck around in jump really high and fly around realistically this is a good superman overpowered game is it a good saints row game no saints row 2 is the best saints row game saints row 1 is but good but the problem is you could never go how can you pull it back after this they would have to reboot it like they did and we all know how the reboot went what do you think of the voice acting um actually really good um i chose troy we did a poll at the very first start of the series so we did troy baker i think troy baker was a very good pick I think if you chose Troy Baker or Nolan North or any of the other characters, you'll be have fun. When I very first played this on Xbox 360, I chose the British male VA, and I even thought that suited it. Love Johnny Gat. Who's the who's the VA for Johnny Gat? Daniel Dale Kim. That's him, and I think he's great. I actually think he's great. Um, I think Troy Baker does a really good job as well. Um, Shawnee's VA is fine. Pierce is fine. Terry Crews being in this, what I didn't actually know was Benjamin King. Love it love it i think terry cruz like as soon as you heard him you're like holy fuck that's terry cruz um keith david is fine he obviously plays julius in the first game there's nothing crazy about this there's nothing there's no trophy that makes it go this is fucked this is anything like this the only trophy that is grief is the 40 hours one where you gotta just leave your console on overnight for two days if you would give a rating of this out of a platinum trophy a gold trophy a silver trophy or a bronze trophy taking consideration the time it takes minimum 40 hours to get this done 
minimum, like it doesn't take minimum 40 hours if you're sitting in there with controller. I think 15 hours if you're sitting there with controller to play this game, that's fine. But the trophy list, I think it's great. I think there's only one trophy that brings that down. Let's say if we give it a rating out of 10, I think the trophy list is an 8 out of 10. There's nothing really crazy. There's only one missable. Um, the DLCs are fun. Uh, including of DLCs. Are there multiplayer trophies or anything like that? No, they're all base game, single player. You can take your time doing them. I think that's an 8 or 9 out of 10. I think I love that fact. I would give this a platinum. This is a fun game. There's nothing in this game that will make you go, oh, this is shit. I regret playing this. This is fun. This is generally a fun game. Wait for a sale. Don't pick this up full price. If you're paying $25 AUD, I think that's silly. Just wait for a sale, but I don't think you regret playing this game. To give this out of like out of a trophy system, this is worth a platinum. This is something that you'd be proud seeing and you'll see it on someone's list and you go, oh, they probably had fun when they played it. This is just a fun platinum. To sum up this review, guys, I wholeheartedly recommend picking this game up when you see it on sale. At full price, you still will probably have a really good time, but it's hard to justify spending 15 hours on a platinum and it's worth $22 AUD when you can probably pick this on sale for about five to 10 bucks and that's a much better price. We're currently working on Gat Out of Hell on stream. So you'll probably see a review coming in the next few weeks for that one as well. Please do let me know if you wanna see some of these streams on this channel as well. I'll definitely do it if there is enough positive feedback saying, yep, I wanna see it. Again, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.